I'm gonna start from where I left off the last time from the translation memory window suppose that you want to share your translation memory for more fast with a colleague who is working in another with another uh, software or a cat tool in this case you have to export it to the TMX format that we've been talking about in the first video in this case we need a real TM and not an empty one so I'm ready with one Highlight it and, and click on the export TM button. Browse to the location where you want to save it. And click on save and then OK. The conversion time depends on the size of your translation memory. You see TU stands uh, for translation unit. Uh, if these numbers are equal it should they should be equal actually because it indicates that no translation unit was left during the conversion process also it's uh, you see how it's important to keep all your language variety the same along the project click on ok and uh, ok another feature that is important in tra in any cat tool and of course in uh, in wordfast is the terminology Suppose that you are translating a user guide with like uh, 30,000 words and many of them are repetitive terms. You want to make sure that your translation of those terms is consistent all over the project. Or perhaps that the project itself is divided among many translators and they need to unify their translation to avoid terminology conflict. Or even it could be your client is sending you a glossary list and asking you to stack to it. In all these scenarios, the terminology feature is very handy. Click on the terminology uh, menu and then you select glossary. You can create one from scratch, but you cannot add an offline one because this will bring you to, to something uh, online, which I don't want to bother you with right now. Uh, but in most cases, you will be importing a ready made uh, glossary list. Click on import button and uh, browse to the location. In this case, I'm ready with one. Uh, click on OK. You can give it a symbolic name like uh, something that indicates the content of this glossary list. Perhaps it, it could be economy, it could be uh, legal, it could be automobile. Ah. Click on OK. Make sure to, to, to choose this checkbox and uh, apply and OK. You can edit the content of this terminology list from this icon, click on it and you will be exposed to the, the terms within. Uh, you can add another one, it could be one word, two words or more like translation memory. And you can also give it a description and you can import another t uh, another file into this one and you can export it to another uh, tab delimited uh, text file now if you want to create uh, uh, a, a glossary list from scratch uh, you can make it with uh, with the Microsoft glossary uh, let me show you uh, 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 type in your source language uh, terms in one column and their translation in the counterpart contagious column uh, and please note that there should be uh, there shouldn't be any uh, empty column in between in between them and click uh, save as other formats it should be from this drop down list it should be uh, the tab delimited one click on save yeah because I've created a similar one okay yes sometimes 
uh, where it is. Oh, sorry. Oh, because it's oven. Okay. Sometimes uh, you have to open it with Notepad and ensure that it is saved with the UTF-8 uh, encoding because uh, for some unknown reasons uh, the WordFast sometimes cannot read other encoding than the UTF-8 and click on save uh, yeah because it's open already so we have to remove it And, and close this one save as and then UTF-8 save yes okay and then import it once again You see, 